I want to talk today about setting up the Wemo Insight switch. Actually, I want to talk about resetting it up because so I had to change my router and now the, the switches are unhappy and a little bit of a pain in the butt to get it reset up. You can see that the switch is flashing a yellow Wi-Fi looking signal indicating that it's having trouble connecting to the Wi-Fi and we're going to try to fix that. The first thing I got to do is unplug these devices here. And what's weird is you have to actually unplug this from the wall it will turn off and you have to leave it here unplugged for about a minute. This is the step that I couldn't figure out initially is that you have to unplug it and leave it unplugged for about a minute before the reset process can be used. So I'm going to sit here for a minute Okay, hopefully that's been long enough. Now there's a button on the top of this thing. Let me see if I can focus in on that. There's a button on the top of this that you have to press and hold down for five seconds while you're plugging it in. So I'm going to attempt to do that now. I'm going to refocus on this area. I'm pressing and holding down that button while I plug it in. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. So hopefully now I've reset that and it's broadcasting its Wi-Fi signal. So now I need to go back out and look at my phone. I'll mount this on the tripod. And look at my phone. Now here's my phone. We can get this in focus. This is the Wemo app. Can't do anything in there just yet because I have to go to the settings. So in the Android phone under here, go over to settings and then Wi Fi. When I go into my network settings, I've connected to the Wemo Insight. Now I need to launch the app, the Wemo app, which is here. And hopefully it's clever and figures out, oh, it's connected to the ad hoc Wi-Fi network. And you have a device to set up. So I need it found it. So I'm going to scroll down and hit click next. And so it's connected to the Wemo network. Now it's connecting to my home network called Briggs Home. And it says it is done. And it's looking for devices. I have four of them in the house. And the one that I just set up is unfortunately reset its name from what it used to be to just Wemo Insight. So I'm going to take that one. I'm going to push the pencil button up top. And then the right arrow there. And the second listing down here, if I click on it, it allows me to edit it which is not entirely obvious. I'll put Wemo TV to give it a better description. I'll click... Okay. Then once I've done that, I'll go in and edit again. I like to change my data export settings so it can send me reports on how well it's doing. In terms of using energy, I 
I'm going to schedule the export. By default, it's once per month. I do mine once a day because I have a little web app that works on those. So it says, so I can focus. It says email address, schedule daily, export now. Yes. And it should export the usage of that. And then it should be all set up. So if I come here and select done down at the bottom, I can, should now be able to turn this on and off. There's nothing really to see, but maybe you can hear it in the background. So it works. So I can turn all my devices on. And that's it. The Belkin, the Belkin Insight Switch is such a questionable vehicle for the job at hand. It, it really has some very serious limitations. It should have shown up by my recent experience. All I did was change my router, which required a change in the password. As soon as the switches could no longer connect to my Wi-Fi, they would start turning on and off randomly. So, particularly when attached to a computer, just the computer would just suddenly go off for no reason whatsoever. So I don't know what's wrong with these engineers that they couldn't figure out that if you can't connect with the Wi-Fi, just don't change state. For heaven's sakes, don't switch off. If it's a critical piece of hardware, you should leave it on. So that's bad enough. Then you're like, well, all they need to do is change the password. The network name and everything has stayed the same. There is no way to change the password. You absolutely cannot change the password on these devices. All you can do is reset them to factory defaults and start all over again, which is made particularly difficult because you have to realize that there are no instructions for how to do that. Uh, there are instructions how to install it in the first place, but there are no instructions for how to reset it afterwards. So you kind of on your own. The first thing you have to realize is you have to unplug it from the wall and leave it unplugged for a while because the reset function doesn't seem to work if you unplug it from the wall and plug it back in while pressing that switch for five seconds. In my experience that doesn't work. You have to unplug it from the wall for a minute and then you have to press and hold down the reset button for five seconds while you're plugging it in which is a very awkward operation. Then you get the joy of setting the device up all over again, which means recreating its name, recreating, uh, putting in your email address, setting up how often you want it to set up, uh, how, how often you want to export the data. Anyway, it's just kind of a pain. And for that reason, I really can't recommend these devices to anyone. The, the reliability just isn't there. It's too bad because they're really close to working well. I think a few software tweaks could fix it, but Belkin doesn't seem to have much interest in doing that.